From beautiful cherry groves to the most insane village you'll ever see, here are 25 seeds you have to try in Minecraft 1.20. Up first is the perfect survival seed for the new update. It's got every biome you could wish for with 1.20's newest biome right in the middle. Standing in this cherry blossom forest, you can spot badlands to your left and snowy plains to your right. It's such a colourful and varied world for your trails and tales adventure. There are villages aplenty, temple-filled bamboo jungles, suspicious sands to be brushed, ice spikes and even some mushroom fields. This seed hides a secret structure that breaks bedrock and gives you access to the void. This super rare phenomenon can be found right at the bottom of this beautiful frozen lake. Surrounded by peaceful meadow, forest and even a village, you would never expect this exceptionally deep lake to lead you into the eternal despair. At the deepest and darkest point of this lake, you'll find an igloo, break the floor of its basement and one wrong step will bring your trails and tales to an agonizing end. Here's a seed that brings you a five structure combination and a brand new wood type right at spawn. You've got an outpost and a jungle temple inside of a village, right next to both a ruined portal and a woodland mansion. Protect the villagers, collect your armor, trims and jump down into the cave behind the mansion to explore the lush depths below. Above ground there's plenty of bamboo to build with, rivers to sail down, mountains to climb and even a shipwreck to loot close by. This seed spawns you on top of the longest double structure ever found in Minecraft. It's an elongated pillager outpost on top of an even longer desert temple. Having this structure combination exist is rare enough, but actually spawning on it 233 blocks high in the sky makes this seed even crazier. You'll have to dig through the outpost to get to the archaeology room. After some brushing, build a lookout with the best vantage point ever, overlooking bamboo forest, mangrove swamps, and loads more to explore. If you're after a peaceful cherry grove spawn, look no further than this seed. You spawn right next to a village that climbs up a blossom mountain slope. Rise above the mountain and you'll find the village that sits in front of a huge cherry forest that extends over 1,000 blocks. Make your way through the forest and you'll be rewarded with a dream building location. A small meadow plateau surrounded by cherry groves, flower forests, rivers and even more cherry villages. Thought cherry groves were going to be peaceful? Think again. This seat spawns you right next to an outpost and village combination where pillagers and villagers are battling over this new biome. You have to try this seat and help the villagers so they can enjoy the new cherry biome in peace. Just on the edge of the pink forest, you can also find a giant ruined portal and even a woodland mansion. It's such an exciting spawn for the update. This seed has a stunning lake area with a woodland mansion floating perfectly in the middle of it. The large lake has flat forest shores for building with incredible views of the tall jagged peaks behind the mansion. You'll quickly realize it's one of the most broken lakes once you sail towards the mansion. There's a crazy sinkhole where waterfalls lead you down under the mansion and if you do some swimming, you'll even come across a floating giant ruined portal. Try spawning on this huge mountain island which has plenty of features to keep you busy before you sail off and explore explore the mainland. There's some exposed trail ruins and a large lush cliff face cave that leads you all the way down to a deep dark ravine. Head towards the mainland and you can find a cherry mountain village right by the coast. Which new wood type are you going to try out first? If bamboo is your thing, then you'll definitely love this seed. You spawn right on the edge of a deep heart shaped lake, surrounded by jungle and badlands. Building around this lake would be the perfect way to test yourself with the new bamboo building blocks. There's plenty of space for building beyond the lake's walls too. There's flat and spacious badlands, desert and sparse jungle. Accompany that with villages, portals and temples and you've got a great warm biome spawn seed. This seed spawns you next to five different types of forest, including the tiniest cherry grove you'll ever see. Luckily, there's a big one next to it too that even includes a cherry grove village. There's something so relaxing about watching these villagers live their lives under the falling petals. They've even got their own ruined portal. Head towards the tall peaks in the background, and you can also find a beautiful dark oak and meadow mountain crater that would be perfect for building. Perhaps not as amazing as the crater you spawn on in this next seed. Again, it's filled with dark oak and meadow except this time there's a village and a mansion too. Turn this mansion into your home and you'll have the perfect start to your 1.20 adventure, especially since there's cherry grove just over the mountain peaks too. You can find plenty of exposed caves throughout the crater too, including a long lush tunnel that leads you all the way down to an ancient city. This seed spawns you on a big stretch of plains bordered by forest and cherry grove hills. Standing atop the cherry grove, you can spot a village with a very interesting feature. It's a giant ruined 
Island Portal. Interesting because of its sheer size and the destruction it's caused to the village, but also because of what you can find inside of it. Head on into the nether and you'll find yourself spawning right next to a fortress. This seed spawns you in a cherry grove mountain crater, allowing you to enjoy the new biome in peace with nothing to bother you. Head over the peaks and down the cherry grove slopes to find villages scattered all around the mountain in every direction. But there's one part of this mountain range that you really need to see. The huge frozen peaks tower over this tiny birch island on a small lake surrounded by forest. It's a beautiful build location in an already amazing mountain range. This seed spawns you wet, cold, and alone in the middle of the ocean. Swim your way into warmer waters where you'll come across an outpost temple village floating upon a coral reef. I'm not sure how these camels feel about being so far away from dry land, and I'm not sure how the villagers feel about being so close to these pillagers. Luckily, they're not the best swimmers, so you'll have a really good opportunity at getting to the archaeology room before they do. Here's an incredible island spawn that includes a woodland mansion, a good-sized beach, and even an endless lush cave system for you to explore. From building a lush underground city to turning this mansion into your dream home, there's so much you can do on this island in a relatively small space. This next seed is truly one of a kind and possibly the craziest Minecraft seed ever found. You spawn up on a jagged peak surrounded by villages, mountains, and cherry grove in all directions. Further exploration will lead you to a meadow mountain crater which hides the craziest combinations of structures you'll ever see. There's an outpost inside of a mansion, a village with houses that make no sense, and even an ocean monument which hides the end portal. If you want a good mix of beauty and crazy, this is the 1.20 seed for you. Here's an epic winter seed you have to check out if you'd like a Minecraft world to keep you chill this summer. The snowy plains have loads of interesting features, including this mysterious shipwreck that doesn't seem to be close to any water. Just behind it is an ice spikes hill surrounded by a frozen river. Build a spike house in the tallest ice spike and you'll have a great vantage point of the surrounding land, and you'll even be able to spot a few ice spike villages. Here's another crazy seed for collecting armor trims and trying out some archaeology in the new update. You spawn on a jungle coast in sight of floating pillager outpost and jungle temple combination. Not sure how this is possible, but it's pretty cool. Heading in one direction around the coast leads to a bamboo forest, while the other direction leads to plenty of desert temples full of suspicious sand. This seed has one of the best village spawns in the new update, spawning you right next to a double village mountain crater. You'll never find a seed with two villages this close together in a better location. After you've turned this into one big mountain city, head over the peaks to find loads more amazing features, including large forests, mountain valleys, and even another village nestled into the side of a cherry grove. Imagine spawning on a survival island, but instead of grass, sand, and trees, you just had obsidian, cobble, and lava. This seed spawns you on a jungle temple and ruined portal combination in the middle of the ocean with no mainland anywhere in sight. Let's hope there's something in the treasure chest to help you survive. One of the closest pieces of land you'll find is this jungle island village on the end of a large coral reef. If dark oak is your thing, you need to check out this seed. It's possibly the best dark oak forest you could spawn in. There's a huge forest dome filled with a large lake that looks amazing from above. It's accompanied by an X-shaped river that flows all the way around the dome. There's not much else to say about this seed. The water features and seas of trees just look so good together. Here's a seed that spawns you on the coast of a large mountain range, directly opposite a mushroom island. Climb over the peaks and you'll find the perfect build location for the new update. It's a cherry grove circle with a small meadow hill right in the center. It's the perfect place for a little home with views of cherry blossom all around you. There's even a moat where you could bridge across to the cherry grove from your base and you can build a path through the mountains in the opposite direction. This seed has the most broken ocean monument location ever. It's generated in a sinkhole next to a village in the middle of a frozen lake. The bad news is there have been a few polar bears plummeting into the lava below. The good news is this could actually make a fun and easy guardian farm. You might have to watch for some of the villagers falling into the hole too. There have been so many amazing lake seeds in this video, but I think this one tops the lot. It's another insanely deep lake, but this time surrounded by vibrant jungle walls. Right in the middle, you'll find a village full of jungle villagers alongside a giant ruin portal and a jungle temple. Collect treasure, armor trims, and explore new dimensions all while floating on the best jungle village in Minecraft. But there's an even crazier structure combination coming up next. This seed spawns you next to a woodland mansion, a village, and a giant ruin portal that have all generated together inside of an open 
open dripstone cave. The mansion is partially buried, with some of the village watching over it from the meadow above and some of the village joining it on the dripstone floor. Head through the cave past the portal and you'll find loads more spacious caverns to explore. There's loads more to explore above ground too. Check out this stunning multi-forest valley just around the corner. Not too far away, there's even a double dungeon inside of a mineshaft. Will you be checking out any of these seeds in the new update? Let